Hi, I'm Ben from Ben Stacy Solutions, and today I'm just going to do a short video about stage boxes. I have here two examples of stage boxes, an analog and a digital. Uh, an analog stage box, probably most of us are fairly familiar with one of these. It gives you multiple inputs and multiple outputs. It allows you to plug in several microphones or DI boxes on the stage and then send the signals back to your uh, mixing desk at the back of the room. Your returns then also allow you to send sound from your mixing desk back to the platform for things like band monitors. Now there's a similarity with the, the digital stage box in that we again here have multiple inputs and multiple outputs, again for our microphones, DI boxes, and then outputs for things like band monitors. The difference is, however, uh, the connections on the back. Um, and instead of using a, a large multi-core cable like we have here, we can use a much thinner cable, something like this Cat5 cable, or sometimes a coax cable. Um, and then on the back here, we have two uh, network ports, and that can allow us to do multiple things. Um, with a digital system, you can have a lot more flexibility in what you do. You can connect up multiple stage boxes. We can daisy chain stage boxes. These can be ins and outs, so we can use them to connect in to another stage box. Uh, it can also allow us to have redundancy, and if one of your uh, Cat5 cables were to break halfway through a, a gig or a show or a, an event, um, then the other Cat5 will just automatically kick in and nobody will know any difference. So there's a lot more flexibility, um, a lot more possibilities of what you can do with a digital system than an analogue. Um, and in short, that's the differences between the two.